Okay. And what the Human Rights Law Network does is it files public interest cases and individual cases and provides legal aid to people who are very poor. Now we've done hundreds of PIL cases and hundreds of individual litigations and if you ask me what the practical impact is, I could tell you of many, many impacts. We have a website which sets out all the cases and what we've got. For example, on the right to food case, we have managed to get the midday meal scheme, the Anganwadi scheme improved and millions and millions of dollars extra have been, you know, government had to pay to get food for people, the midday meal scheme for uh, pregnant women, the uh, the Anganwadi scheme, pensions for old people, Antiwadiya card for very poor people, etc. Now, like on food, we've done work on health rights, for example. We've done work on HIV. We do work on disability, women's rights, child rights, people in prisons. We file legal aid applications and get people out of jail. We file applications to get stay orders against demolition of slums. So practical results are there in a practical way, and that's the kind of work we do. But we want to say at the end of it all that even with all the work that we do, it's like a drop in the bucket. So we don't want to exaggerate or overemphasize our impact on society. The injustice is so huge and people are so poor and, uh, you know, violence against the people are so extensive. Whatever we do is like a drop in the bucket. The impact can be measured very clearly. You look case by case and see the result. Have you got a stay order against demolition? Yes. Have you got uh, drugs for HIV positive people? Yes. Have you got people out of prisons? Yes. Have you got a victim of domestic violence, uh, some relief? Yes. Have you got traffic children rescued? Yes. So that's how you, you measure it. It's very easy to measure.